And that large mural, I think what's really astonishing, I mean, there's a play of the different brush strokes, which certainly with the light is something else, but the color is hallucinogenic. And the way he breaks down the um, kind of naturalistic elements of the composition into almost pure pattern at the bottom is really astonishing. Well, as a result of my application to the arts committee of Chandler, city of Chandler, uh, I was given the opportunity to do this painting. This was the biggest, most ambitious and the most exciting project I've worked on in my life. And when it's time to produce a piece of work for this public space, I thought, first of all, this is the Grand Canyon State. The Grand Canyon is an ob obvious subject for a piece of public art. So I picked what I thought was the best view of the inside of the Grand Canyon. This is it. The texture, the textures are amazing. We would take the paint on a big table and we'd mush the colors around, mix them together, and then you'd take it and scrape it back and forth this way and make sure they're all smooth and creamy. This stuff was drying on my skin and I was tearing pieces of skin off my hands trying to scrub the paint off at the end of the day. This brush was my rough end brush. I call this Buster. I painted it like that. Up on the platform in front of the painting. I had no idea what it would look like until I came down. When I got down to the water reflection, I wanted to show the movement of the water. Then I could use this tool. Oh, Meryl Mahaffey's painting to me is the essence of light in the Southwest. It sparkles. It has a beauty that you know instantly, especially if you're an outdoor lover. I had found my theme and I didn't know until I painted this that I had found the heart of my theme was going to be the Grand Canyon. That's become my life's work. And so in this canyon view, you see the layering and the layer represents time. We should start at the top and think of the layers descending into the past. So you have to do something monumental like this and then look at this. And it has the same quality and the same brush stroke. I can smell the hot rocks and the vegetation and hear the cicadas and, and the water going by. They're, they're very evocative. The view I had of this canyon and the way it got translated from film to projection onto the canvas, to the scale of the canvas, that if you're standing in front of the painting, looking up, that's the way it feels when you're actually there. This painting is so much more aggressive than the way I paint now. That it's, you know, it's, it's exciting that I was able to have that kind of energy. In, adjacent to this painting in another part of the art center, there's uh, 50 years of my work, which takes a, a, roughly from my first year of college uh, up to the present time. There's one painting in here I finished last week for the show. This retrospective is something that's very much deserved and very important in the life of an artist who is quintessential with Arizona and with the Southwest in general. Um, his art has taken many forms over the years and has always surprised me when he's made a major change. And I think it's a great show. I liked seeing the progression of, of, with any artist of how they develop and grow and change. But my story is still really about big forms intersecting out in, you know, the atmosphere. I want the landscape to be the essence of the story.
It is the color is fabulous. I like the um, modern art with the designs, the little stripes and stuff like that is older work. The relationship between the 1960s op art pieces really relate to these later works, you know, and I'd never seen that relationship so directly before. And that was quite striking and a nice revelation. I think it's been great. It's been a lot of fun. A lot of people, and people seem to be reacting really well to the show. They're really enjoying it. Um, people really tend to gravitate to him and his work. And, his character. It is fun. It's like seeing an old friend, as they say. <laughs>